Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Coding Touch, and welcome to my third episode of the series Creating or Building uh, a Website Like Airbnb or BRB, <laughs> Airbnb itself. Messed that up. But um, as you can see, this is the original website, Airbnb.com, and we're getting actually pretty, pretty close to it now. I'm gonna say this again. Um, we're not creating exactly the same one because I can't possibly know what font size they used here. I mean, font family, or any of these sizes. Um, so I'm getting pretty close to it. Not perfectly close, but we're still pretty good. And another thing you might probably notice is I've changed the background image uh, from New York to Frankfurt because I needed a day image. So first, you can see this hovered, and second. Um, here you're gonna see the search bar div how it's black and here if it's a black background you won't be able to see, you won't be able to recognize where the search bar div is so I needed a bright one and this is a really really beautiful web um, background and I love the um, bright colors and the blue and everything in yep it's perfect so what we're gonna do this episode is create this outwards button and this search bar div or maybe the main search bar itself. So let's go ahead and do that. So for the how it works button, we're gonna create a link inside the oops. Uh okay. Um I actually I'm redoing this episode because something went wrong with my power. Um but yeah. So I mean the power of my apartment. But let's go ahead and create a link. So a href equals how sign. We're gonna give it a class of how underscore it underscore works, and we're gonna save it now. And here we're gonna write uh, how it works. And I know you guys might say like when you see this, you can't actually see it real good, but when you do, um, you're gonna say but here it has a padding and the border and the color and everything. That's what the CSS is for. So let's go to CSS and write the same thing. So hashtag how underscore it underscore works. Three brackets and inside we're gonna write the font family to it's gonna be sans serif. The color is gonna be white. And another I I forgot to uh write this two dot links. Uh, and uh, the text decoration, none is going to remove the underline, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to save it, refresh, but it's still purple, and that's because we have already clicked on it once. And to get rid of that, we're going to have to create a two dot visit it and write the whole code again. So, how it works two dot visit it. Curl the brackets, and inside we're going to write font family and serve color white and text decoration none all right save it refresh and now it's perfect all right so now let's align it actually first we're gonna give it the padding in the border so right now I'm gonna make a border of which I'm not writing uh, a border of one pixel solid black so it just has it uh, so I can basically see how big the padding is and for some reason oh I did it and then visit it um okay so paste it in here save it refresh and did I say white oh huh it's weird how it made it white but anyway um I'm gonna give it a padding of I'm guessing 30 pixels, 10 pixels, 30 pixels, 10 pixels. So we're gonna go clockwise because that's the um that's the only way you can do it with the padding. If you wanna do every padding for each side on one line, so padding two dots. First, the top is gonna be 10 pixels. Um, the le the right is gonna be 30 pixels. The bottom is gonna be 10 pixels, and the left is gonna be 30 pixels. And I send my column. Save it, refresh, and it's pretty big enough. So you can see here how the angle is 90 degrees, but if you go um, to Airbnb.com, you can see that the border is round. And how do you create a round border with the with the border radius, of course? So border dash radius. 
and I'm gonna give it a two pixels radius. And now you can see that it's perfectly, uh, perfectly rounded. Or I don't know how it's called. All right, so now let's get a let's get, uh, let's get rid of the border, the border, and let's give it a background color of RGBA since it is transparent and it's white. So if it's transparent, it's always almost always um, gonna be RGBA. So RGBA, um, twenty two five five two five five two five five and zero point five. Save it. Refresh. What did I do wrong? Oh, RGB. I meant RGBA. Save it. Refresh and zero point five. Yep. All right. So now let's align it to the center. So I'm gonna give it a position of absolute and a mark um a left of fifty percent and a margin left of minus eighty pixels. Now it is perfectly in the center and um I'm gonna actually why is it not as white? Maybe it's zero point six the transparency. I think this is pretty good. Yeah. And I'm gonna give it a hover now so it's black because you can see that when you hover over it, it becomes darker. So hashtag how it works. I'm gonna save it. Oh and I messed up the font family for visit it and I'm gonna give it a background color of RGB um zero 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 point six. Save it, refresh. Oh, I forgot to write that two dots hover. Um, Alright, so now when we hover over it, it becomes darker, just like that. But I'm gonna give it 0 0.5 because it can't read the text. I'm gonna do the same thing for here. So, well, uh, yeah, I can't really read the text all that good. Um, but I hope it's good enough. Yeah, when it's darker, you can see it better. All right. So now let's create this search bar div. So we're gonna go to HTML, and we're gonna create um outside of the welcome text div. We're gonna create um a new div, but it has to be in the header. So where does the header end? Oh, the header doesn't end anywhere actually. So I'm gonna have to close the div of the header. All right. We're gonna write um, div id equals ser search bar div. Save it. Actually, close it, and there we go. So now let's go to CSS and write pound sign or hashtag um, search bar div curly brackets, and inside we're gonna write in. Um, Basically, we're gonna style it. So first, you have to give it a position of absolute, and basically the whole header is positioned absolute. Um, let me see this. No, no, wait. The position is relative. Um, actually, never mind. Um, we're gonna give it a position of absolute, so it's gonna take up the width 100% of the header, but the height is gonna be like 100 pixel or something. So width 100%. And the height is going to be 100 pixels. And I'm going to give it a background color of RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.5. Transparency, save it. And uh, it's going to be actually darker, so it's going to be 0 0.7 or 8. 0 0.7, yep. Or, um, well, let's try it out with 0 0.8. Yeah, I think I like it better. And we're gonna have to align it to the bottom. So bottom zero comma uh, semicolon. And uh, perfect is it big enough? Actually, I can't see because it's something dark. Um. Yeah, it looks about right to me. All right, so we're getting pretty close, and I think that's gonna be it for this episode particularly because. Well, well, I mean, you don't want to see really, really long episodes because they're boring and your mind gets so unfocused and everything. But I that didn't make any sense. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. 
And if you did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any comment, um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you. I uh, can't talk to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.